Cameron Canaday hasn't let go of this keychain since Monday. They brought us her purse. Uh, you know, I kind of went through it just, you know, just to look at it. And, you know, it's just I just saw the name. It belonged to his baby sister, Amber. You know, this is this is just just something, you know, it's just something to help the pain for right now. Something that reminds him of the person gone too soon. That was the worst thing is I had arrived minutes after it happened and a lot of people saw me out there. I mean, if anybody remembers seeing a guy in a white t-shirt crying his eyes out, I mean, that was me. A hard thing to talk you know, about. I was, I was. <laughs> Amber Canaday was killed on Monday at the intersection of 50th and Milwaukee. Police say she was waiting to turn left when a driver going the opposite direction hit her head on. You know, just two minutes with her and she, you would have just known how great of a person she was. Amber was 24 years old, engaged to be married, and had two kids under the age of two. Now it's our job to take care of what she left behind, and that's and those, are, those are our two little, those are our two blessings from her, so. Her family is devastated, now raising money to help with funeral costs and living expenses for her kids. Police are still investigating why the driver drifted into the other side of the road. No one has been charged in this case, and as we said, the crash is still under investigation. If you'd like to donate to the Canada GoFundMe, you can find the link on our website, everythinglubbock.com.